Begin by clicking the on-screen list of foils button to find the desired foil. Click the right arrow button on the bottom until you reach PlaySafe Triple. Select PlaySafe Triple. Select the 5.5 mm option. Click the Aquaform checkbox. Once you verify the information at the top of the screen, click the green check mark. A short clip will play on screen detailing the next steps. With a hex screwdriver, secure the model to the pot, making sure the occlusal surface is tilted with the anteriors slightly higher than the posteriors. Next, grab a container of your choice and place the pot and granule container inside. This will make granule cleanup easier. Use the granule scoop and slowly pour in enough granules so that only the thermoforming area plus 3 millimeters is visible. Any hollow areas under the model must be filled with granules. Continue until the pot is properly filled. Then, use the granule brush to gently spread or remove any unwanted granules. And inspect the model and pot to confirm proper positioning. Without disrupting the granules, pick up the pot and place it into the receptacle on the Urcoform machine. Verify that the dot on the pot and the dot on the left side of the thermoforming chamber line up. Now, install the face chuck onto the Aquaform model mount, followed by the model. Tighten the model to the model mount, securing both the model and the face chuck. Now, lower the Aquaform. Loosen the thumb screw to allow the top model to come into proper occlusion with the bottom model. Once aligned, tighten the thumb screws. Lift up the aquaform and place a cover template over the granules. Next, remove the securing ring and place the PlaySafe triple foil into the foil holder. Place the securing ring back on and tighten into place. Then, rotate the foil holder counterclockwise so it is directly underneath the heating element. The machine will now automatically raise the temperature to the optimum level. While the foil heats up, attach the bite spacer to the face chuck. Once the bite spacer is in place, check the bite by closing the aquaform. Once the optimum temperature is reached, the foil holder will automatically rotate and lower onto the model. Immediately after lowering onto the model, the machine's vacuum will remove any air from the pot, allowing the foil to be thermoformed. Allow one minute of cooling time. The screen will then instruct you to use the aquaform. Close the aquaform until the supporting pin touches the base. Leave the aquaform closed for the remainder of the cooling time. After the cooling time has elapsed, the screen will instruct you to remove the aquaform. Remove the aquaform. Remove the foil securing ring. Then, lift up the foil holder and remove the thermoforming pot and appliance. Once you've removed the thermoformed foil and model, reposition the foil holder by lifting and rotating clockwise until it locks into place. Using a low-speed handpiece with a fissure burr, begin cutting out the appliance from the foil. Slowly make your way around the appliance to ensure a proper cut. If needed, keep moving along the edge until the desired line is made. It may be necessary to go around the appliance twice. Once you are satisfied with the cut, retrieve the takeoff pliers. Insert the pliers into the line that was cut and apply pressure. Slowly work around the edge of the appliance until it comes free. 
You'll notice the rough edges of the appliance. These will need to be smoothed out. For that, use a low-speed handpiece and the tungsten carbide burr. Begin with one part of the appliance and slowly work your way around, shaping as you go. Due to the thickness of the appliance and the rough edges, this may take multiple passes. Be sure to cut out and shape the areas around the frenums. Once the initial shaping is complete, switch out the tungsten carbide burr for a brown Lisco disc. Make your way around the entire device, smoothing the edges shaped by the carbide burr. Continue this until all edges of the appliance are smooth and shaped properly. To add a patient's name to the PlaySafe triple, print the name with an electronic label maker in mirrored print mode on a clear label. Trim the label to minimize excess space around the name. Remove the backing to reveal the adhesive side of the label. Now, carefully apply it to the back side of the clear PlaySafe triple label as shown. With the hot air burner, heat the area of the appliance that you wish to apply the label to. This makes bonding the two pieces much easier. Apply the label to the heated area with tweezers and gently press it into the appliance. With the hot air burner again, heat the label. After heating, Use a UZF sheet to apply pressure to the heated label. Switch off between heating and pressure with the UZF sheet until the label is properly seated. After the label has been properly attached, use the hot air pen to polish the remaining portions of the appliance. Start at one end and slowly work your way around the entire edge of the appliance. Finally, make a few quick passes over the occlusal surface of the appliance where the bite spacer was placed. Inspect the appliance to ensure there are no flaws. Now to add the helmet strap. Using a low-speed handpiece and a brown Lisco disc, roughen the anterior portion of the appliance. Next, take the helmet strap and roughen the end of the strap in the same manner. Next, use the hot air pen to melt the two pieces where they were scored. Before the material gets a chance to cool, apply the helmet strap to the appliance to create a strong bond. Once it is cooled, lightly tug on the helmet strap to ensure they are properly connected. Finally, use a knife to gently remove the isolating foil from inside the appliance. The PlaySafe triple is now ready for use. <laughs>